Raised in the West Bank, shot in Vermont. Three months after an attack, its victims grapple with what it means to be Palestinian in America. Kinnan Abdalamid lived in the United States until he was two, when his mother, Tamara Tamimi, made her big move to the West Bank. That was where her parents were born, and for her, the idea of a Palestinian home had become a lodestar. In 1988, when she was 15 and protesters had taken to the streets to challenge Israeli occupation in what would become known as the First Intifada, she told a local news reporter in Northern California, where she lived at the time, that if she were there, she, too, would be throwing stones at the tanks. I would feel obligated, she said. The news segment portrayed Tamara as being caught between two worlds, an American one, in which she rehearsed, by by Bertie at school, and a Palestinian one, in which she spoke Arabic and struggled to reach relatives back home. She finally moved to the West Bank in 2005, as the region teetered on a precarious peace. She and her husband wanted to raise their child in a world where he could have a community that wasn't possible in America.